What's going on everybody? I'm System Tech 66 and we've got some new Resident Evil movie reboot photos and they're of the Spencer Mansion as you can see right here. We're going to click into them, have a better look at them. So we've got like the front hall I guess. Um, wallpaper wise it's looking good. Reminds me of certain rooms from the old Spencer Mansion from the game. But we'll get into the things I'm not, I'm not too sure about after we've gone through all the photos. So then we've got like some sort of dining room. Actually, yeah, there we go. We'll go back. We've got some sort of dining room. Um, I'm really hoping that these are, I don't know, just separate rooms, you know, offshoot rooms. Um, this is, I mean, it's a little bit, or kind of like the uh, the staircase where you first meet the crows. That's what it reminds me of a little bit. But you know, we've got the, the ornaments, the lights and stuff, you know. It's um visually, if we want to talk about, you know, <laughs> visually it looks Resident Evil. Does it look like Spencer Spencer Mansion? <laughs> yes and no. I'm gonna go to the last one, and this is the mansion from the outside, which to be honest, being real with you, doesn't look like the Spencer Mansion at all. So, um, if we go back. I'm hoping that these are, I don't know, just shots for where they're going to place the camera when it comes to actually um, filming inside the mansion. Obviously they're making the outside of the mansion and then it's looking like they're going to film on location um, in a real sort of like mansion. Um, it says filming for the movie recently took place at the Scottish Rite Club. So it's a building in Scotland somewhere. And I've got to be honest, if this is the if this is the final version of what they're going for, and things like this are supposed to be the dining hall, I'm disappointed. For the first time seeing images and stuff of the film, I'm very disappointed. Um, like, there's a lot of people who have said they don't want a beat-for-beat -beat recreation of the mansion and stuff, and while I agree with that, I'm fine if it doesn't, you know, it's not identical to the mansion we get in the games. This is not even a stand-in for the dimensions like Dining Hall in the games. It, it's really lackluster and it looks crap. I'm not going to lie. I think it looks crap. Um, visually, like I said, they've got the, the aesthetic of it down. Like visually, the wallpaper, the paintings, the, the lights, the chandeliers, everything else like that. The, the oak, um, the, the oak wood staircase and things like that and the wood. But, it, you know, it doesn't look like this like from the outside however I will say one thing when we've seen photos of the forest of Arkley and um, we've also seen pictures of the, the front of the mansion that looks very much like the mansion but having said that if this is the inside and this is supposed to be the dining hall they've dropped the ball big time now I'm hoping that this isn't like um, you know all of the mansion is going to be the small version of the mansion because that is going to suck and I don't think I really don't think the amount of detail they've given to the RPD since they've started building it and also the, the front of the mansion. I really don't think this is going to be all we're getting for the mansion. Um, I mean, this could be just like, you know, a room inside the mansion. You go upstairs and stuff and you know, obviously there's this other room. Um, try to look a little bit more. Uh, but this, is not, <laughs> this isn't going to cut it in terms of you know, replacing the dining room from the games. Um, this could be a separate room, definitely, like an upstairs or something, and that would be cool. So if these are separate rooms, I'm all right with it. I'm fine with it. Anyway, I want to know what you guys think in the comment section down below about the Resident Evil uh, movie reboot, reboot Spencer Mansion photos. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section, and we're going to go straight over to the next um, thing I want to cover, and that's that David Hayer, the original Solid Snake voice, is down to reprise his role for the Metal Gear Solid remake. That's exciting. Um, my my thoughts on that are: I really hope they do cast him as Snake again. Um, so I'm getting this from Screen Rant, as you can see. It says David Hayter doesn't know if the Metal Gear Solid remake rumors are legitimate, but he's ready to return as Snake if they prove true. So yeah, a lot of us are still. Um, 
are still in the dark as to whether this is coming out and it's being done by Bluepoint Games and it's a genuine thing. A lot of us are still in the dark as to whether Sony have purchased, you know, Silent Hill, Castlevania and Metal Gear from Konami or they're doing a joint thing with Konami. No one really knows at the moment, nothing's concrete or being set in stone, uh, so it's all hearsay at the moment, I must warn you guys, um, and say that at the moment it is straight, straight up a rumour. But, original Solid Snake voice actor David Hayer can't verify the legitimacy of the Metal Gear Solid remake rumours, but he says he would be happy to reprise his classic role should the claims prove true. In general, rumours about potential remakes of classic games are a dime a dozen, but one concerning Metal Gear Solid is drawing special attention, evidenced by Hayer's response to the speculation. Now, Blue Point, my advice to you would be hire David Hayter, get him on board. And I don't want to hear nobody talking about his old eye and his voice. Shush. There's things that they can do to actually make the voice sound a bit younger. Yeah, there's loads of audio techniques that they can do. And they don't even really need to because I reckon, personally, I like Snake as a more gruff voiced Snake from Metal Gear 2, Metal Gear 4. Uh, he's a bit green in Metal Gear Solid. And I think that just having David Hayter's gruff snake voice back in, you know, back on the scene, back in the game, voice and snake, I'm going to be perfectly fine with it. Uh, the Metal Gear Solid rumour in question just recently made the rounds, courtesy of claims by a leaker who accurately shared details about God of War Ragnarok, ahead of Santa Monica Studios' official reveal a few months ago. According to the leaker, the team behind remakes of Shadow of Colossus and Demon Souls, Bluepoint Games is helming the remake of 1998's Metal Gear Solid. The leaker fur f further alleges that Mark Cerny, PlayStation 5 architect and producer of many a PlayStation Classic, is currently involved with the Metal Gear Solid remake's production, alongside Demon Souls remake studio Bluepoint Games. As of writing, no official source from Sony, uh, Bluepoint or Metal Gear publisher Konami has corroborated the report. Uh, so yeah, David Hater tweets, I honestly don't know if the rumours are true, but if they are, let the studio know. I'd like to come back as Snake. I'm always down to return to Shadow Moses. Um, so, you know, it just goes on. But, um, yeah, basically, for everyone thinking that it would be a bad idea to remake Metal Gear Solid or the Blue Point Games can't remake this game, I think... <laughs> I don't think it's for you to say if they can remake a game or not. You're not a developer and you don't work for a development studio. Blue Point have shown that they could do a good job with Shadow of the Colossus. Don't care whether you think it's a remaster or a remake, but they did a good job with it, and they seem to have done a good job with Demon Souls, though I've yet to play that game. I think they're perfectly up to task to take on Metal Gear Solid. There's been companies like, um, who are the people that did Batman? Rocksteady. Now Rocksteady, before they made Arkham Asylum, they didn't make very good games. They hadn't made anything that great before. Uh, Urban Chaos was more of a, a sleeper hit, an underground hit, but it still had its problems. Then they jumped in there, brought out Arkham Asylum, and, pff, you know, the money started rolling in. People love that that game based on Batman, and I personally think the Arkham trilogy is amazing. I think Rocksteady smashed it, hit it out of the park. So when it comes to Blue Point taking on Metal Gear, they have a lot of history dealing with old classic games, Shadow of the Colossus, Demon Souls, etc., etc. And I think they're perfectly up to snuff to take on this project. I really do. And I think they'll do a, a, a damn better job than Silicon Knights did. I really do. Um, and, you know, Sony watched them quite closely. And they give them these properties, do you know what I mean? Like Shadow of the Colossus. Because they have faith in them. So I have faith in them. For people to start saying, oh, I don't think they're going to be a good fit and they can't do it. I really don't get that type of reasoning. You're not them. You're not a developer and you're not in a, working in a development studio. You don't have the say on whether they can do a good job or not. The proof is in the pudding. The time will tell when it comes out, if it comes out, and we get to play it for ourselves and see if they do a good job. And if they don't do a good job, well, then they'll pretty much be blacklisted because Metal Gear Solid is a huge, huge game and a massive series and and a massive license to take on. If they fuck it up, they're going to get fucked. That's the truth. And Sony ain't going to want to know them. So I doubt very much they're going to come out with something that's dog shit. I really, I really doubt it. Um, but... You know, everybody's got their opinions. You're entitled to your opinion, but uh, that's my opinion. There you go. I'm giving my opinion. You give your opinion. You know, you know, hold yourself well. Back up your your argument, and uh, and people won't think you're an idiot. It's as simple as that. Same as I'm backing up my argument.
and I'm using Rocksteady as an example. And that's why I think Bluepoint have a lot more potential, definitely, than someone like Rocksteady, and they did an amazing job with the Batman license. So that's my two cents. Um, let me know what you think about all this, the Resident Evil photos of the Spencer Mansion, also David Hayter coming back as Solid Snake, that would be excellent. That's who I want to return you know, to the role, I don't want them to recast it, like they did with Metal Gear 5. I really didn't, I never gelled with Kiefer Sutherland over uh, David Hayter, and it was a shame they got rid of him. But let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I've been System Check 66, and I'm signing out.